Hello, everyone. Howdy. Please be aware of your exits as they might be behind you. American I don't know what their little airline. like jingly thing is. I don't either. Either way. Yeah. I don't think I've ever flown on an American Airlines. Are vessel. they the one that's defunct? No. No, that that's... was Braniff. No, there's a different oh airlines. My... Like Tell North... me that your family worked for the airlines without telling me your family worked for the airlines, quoting airlines that haven't existed since before you were born. Yeah, I actually got this at the bins this past week. Oh, you guys will see it in the family bins bash, which is coming up this Tuesday. But anyways, I got this at the bins for Ryan's dad, and Ryan already confiscated it. He doesn't also, deserve this. I think it fits you better. I love than this. Than it maybe would have fit him. <laughs> so welcome to What Sold Saturday. How is everyone? I'm sorry that we're in like the exact same shirt almost or the same like colorway. I will say yeah. I had this a color on first so Ryan copied me. I rolled out of bed five minutes before we filmed these. Yeah. So here's my little sweatshirt. I feel like every time I wear one of my online ceramics shirts, everyone's like, what does the rest of the sentence say? Because they always have like a start of a phrase at the top and the bottom is like the rest. <laughs> and people always comment like, what does the rest what say? Because I have the one that says like, the sun watches what I do, but the moon and everyone's always The moon knows like, my secrets? Yeah, the moon it, what? It says the moon knows my secrets because I just wore that this week. But this one says wanted for mass murder. I get because it. It's crows. A murder of crows is a group of two or more crows. This was from the online ceramics Halloween drop that happened like three days before Halloween. I bought so much stuff, but I'm sure that doesn't surprise mm -hmm. anyone. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. This is the What's on Saturday for the week of the 6th through the 12th. I would say there was like a lot of traffic Mm -hmm. this week but there wasn't a lot of like really big sales i had a lot of sales or like a good amount yeah. but it, it just nothing like nothing crazy no, i have no big spenders i had one big ebay sale but they have not paid yet and i do not have high hopes that they are going to pay because it's one of those people that has like no reviews and yeah. some gibberish username yeah so we'll figure that out bread and butter it was a lot of bread and butter this week which like i'm not mad i feel like i also am like really getting good at like like getting out some of my older stuff mm -hmm. to kind of like make room for some new stuff. Which I feel like is a lot of this week. We had a lot of clear out. I'm happy with nice. having a lot of sales though because this was like a really, really busy, tiring week. If you can see the Louis Vuitton bags under my eyes, that is because I'm so worn out from this week. As I've told you guys multiple times, it's like Monday I went to the bins on my own and filmed some there, got a bunch of stuff, did a full bin strip. I also then went to Goodwill's the next day and filmed there to make our Thrift With Me video. Mm -hmm. And then I listed and photographed all that stuff that night. Wednesday, I did a turnstile consignment shopping bash and I shopped at turnstiles for five hours straight no food no water nothing no greens <laughs> beans potatoes tomatoes lamb filmed ram, all ram, that ram. So that's going up in like two weeks then also photographed and listed all that stuff and then on Thursday family bins bash filmed all that did a full bins trip and photographed and listed everything. So I'm proud of myself for keeping up, but I can't believe I'm not like on the ground with my arm bent behind my back, just like face down. So I'm happy with a good amount of sales because I don't feel like they shared and sent offers like as much because I was just busy all day. I, it's been a week. We as had a five day week, week. It's been a week for Ryan. We had a five day <clears throat> week this week and oh man, kids are coming in hot. But then we got a four day week next week because MLK. And then we have a four day week after. And then I get to sit in an empty school and do PD, but I also need to get on my grades. Catch up. Yeah, I have to finish. But good sales though. It'll be good. good sales. Yeah. So I have some non posh ones. eBay was actually quite good this week, but otherwise I had a couple of Mercari, nothing on Depop, nothing I, on Vistier. My or... Depop was kind of quiet this week. I don't really, I don't really know what the Depop girlies are doing this week, but apparently they're not be Depop in. I had a few eBay sales, which were good, and I had a Mercari sale. But of course, before we jump into talking about sales, we do have a Valentine VIP to highlight. And also really quick before Valentine's, you are getting a new video next Wednesday. I'm still figuring out what it's gonna be. So if you have any requests, leave them in the comments. Yeah. Or else maybe we'll do like a consign with me or something like that. This week's Valentine VIP is Laurie. Laurie! And Laurie's closet is at Clothes Call 713, <laughs> which is a wonderful username. I I'm have a sneaking suspicion I know where Laurie lives based off of I think that area code. Uh, well, I can't, I didn't stalk her and look up her address, so that I can't confirm. An old friend of mine had a 707 area code. <laughs> and new feature on the Valentine VIP of the week we post I your address to the your address. <laughs> no, I'm not going to um, So Lori's closet is at C-L-O-T-H-E-S-C-A-L-L-713. -L -L of course, she'll be the first link below. Everyone, go give Lori some love. Uh, love! 
Give her some comments, give her some likes, give her some shares. <laughs> she has all kinds of really bougie and fun bags. Tons of coach bags. She's got a she's Disney got some, one. She's got some cute Kate Spade bags, including some Disney ones. She had some Tory Burch bags. Mm -hmm. She had a J.W. Anderson bag. The little J.W. Anderson saddle bag. Yeah. Lori is she's good. rolling high. Yes, she is. Good for Lori. So thank you, Lori, so much for being a Valentine. And thank you to all of our Valentines. We appreciate it. Sorry, sorry much. Your... Sorry, sorry much. <laughs> <laughs> now moving on to the sales. So I think we should start off with Mercari. Did you say you had any? I have one. Okay, you can go first. Okay, my one on Mercari was this Urban Outfitters BDG tan front cropped flare sleeve cardigan sold for $25.50. I make twenty one fifty, And I had four on Mercari. Good. So my first one, we are <laughs> rounding out those sunglasses and eyewear. I would like to um, put a pause and contradict your previous statement where you said you didn't have any big sales. That's I a did, lie. I did forget about this Audience, one. I did forget this man lied this. to you. Not the sunglasses, but one that's coming up. Ray-Ban RB2132 Italy Tortoise Plastic Sunglasses sold at Mercari for $50. So I'll probably get around 40 That's really good. That's really good. And I probably have... We're under 10. Under 10 pairs left of the glasses we had and sunglasses. 20 something? I started off with 25. And I'd say mm -hmm. maybe we have like 8 left. So that's really nice. I've <laughs> by far made my money back. Then you I made guess. Made your money back on this pair. I guess, yes, my big sale of the week that I totally the, forgot about. Again, reminding the audience, he just said he forgot about. Because I don't often have big sales on Mercari. And also, I just don't like register Mercari sales in my brain much because they're so few and far between. If I had a sale this big, I would be like. I'm getting a cocktail and I'm buying a dinner. I deserve it. I feel like I close on a million dollar house if I make a sale that big. Ryan makes an $80 sale and he's like, I deserve a beer. I yeah, deserve I, a new outfit. I, I deserve a new car. I make a $100 sale and I go, okay, I'm going to go buy myself an Negroni. You're like, you know what? I maybe <laughs> will enter the Lamborghini market now. I think I am going to start, what do they call that? The thing where you like buy properties to like yeah. rent them out. I think I'm going to enter real estate. Yeah. Real estate? I sold this ALC Archer faux leather shearling lined jacket. This is very Y2K, very cute, very trendy. She is cute. This did sell for $381. So it sold for $381. We, for we forgot about that. <laughs> and so I don't know what I get, but obviously like probably over 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I'm sure I paid, usually the ALCs, like kind of like a 60 to an $80 moment is what mm -hmm. I get like the ALC jackets for. So that's probably what I got it for. So that's a really good sale. This was doing good on Posh and stuff. It's so cute. And actually someone, it was weird. As this sold, somebody was like actively asking a lot of questions on Posh about it, but it's not the same person. Cause then when I had to market not available, she's like, what just happened? And I was like, I'm so sorry. A really good friend of mine came, visited, and she was like, if you find me one of these in my size, will you get it for me? <sighs> Girl, I think that's out of the budget. So sorry. <laughs> then so sorry. I sold these <laughs> ATM Silk Charmeuse. I, that's a weird name. Isn't that the color Chartreuse? Chartreuse is like a yellow. Hmm. What's Charmeuse? That must just be the style name. I... Charmeuse. That's a new one. Crop. If I am just joggers. like if I'm just like dropping the ball and it's like some really commonly known like green color, I will give you back my teaching license. Char you can have that back. I think <laughs> Charmuse, if that is the color, Charmuse is just Grinch green. It looks like. Yeah, it's like a little... These sold for 43 And again, I don't know what to get. And then last on Mercari was this Madewell Belted Safari Distant Olive Romper. And it was funny because when I found this and I was hauling it, I literally was like, this looks like something that someone wears out in the jungle or like on a safari. And sure enough, literally, it's called the surfa Safari Romper, which is iconic. So for 37 don't know what I get. Moving on to eBay, I had three. Hey, I had three too. Okay, I had one on Depop. I will. My eBay is, I think I'm in the phase and I don't, I'm not, an, I'm not an eBayer. I don't know if this is like how this works, but I think like the more that you sell and the quicker you get things shipped, like the better the momentum kind of is. So like we're working our way up. Number one, thank you Gabby for finding this for me it was this adorable anthropology made but tiger printed off the shoulder a little jungle top jungles safaris and jungles where you left off safaris wow. and jungles are the theme yeah cue the like the, <laughs> the, the music, boom music of the like elephant and the like monkeys in the background this one sold for 19 dollars. i would have probably asked for a little bit more on this i think on poshmark i could have gotten a little bit more but i'm happy i got the ebay sale because i shipped it really quickly and i got good feedback so i think like i'll take a little bit less to like 
<laughs> social climb eBay yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. My next one, this was a good sale. Free People Movement Pink Woven Sports Bra Top. This one sold for $22. I feel like this is kind of on par with what I would have expected on like an eBay, on eBay, a Poshmark or a Mercari moment. I make something. I have no idea. And then my last on eBay was this Monopri Femme and Anthropology. Monopri Femme is this like French company. From my knowledge, the website is entirely in France and I could not find- in France. French. I mean, it is in France. It's also in French. The website is sitting somewhere in France. Yeah. It's on some, in some server in some yeah. Parisian cafe having a little coffee. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out how to translate it. But I did figure out that they sold these in Anthropology, French Anthropology, or U.S. Anthropology. Mm -hmm, one of them. Uh, but they sold for $20. I would have liked to get more for these, especially Anthropology pajamas. They do really, really well on Mercari and Poshmark. But I will take the good feedback. Yeah. I will say that. And they were a Vince fine. So like, no. I made money. So starting off my eBay sales, my first one was this Mod Cloth Ghost Halloween Fair Isle Pullover Sweater. It took me a little bit to get this listed because it needed some sweater shaving, but finally I got it posted. And then of course it sold within like 24 hours. Sold for 40 and it actually is going international. So an international spooky person, this, which I This love. may be an American question, but what does Halloween look like in other countries? There are not as many decorations anywhere. I was gonna say, I feel like- Canada and the UK and some of the European countries have like some. But tell me in Europe where you would store a full foot skeleton. Like if them. you live in those tiny little like brick houses, like where are you going to put you it? You can't get them there. <laughs> as, as you guys might know, I'm on the pulse of the like spooky shopping. Shocker. The, for like the first time ever, there was like an eight foot skeleton released in the UK and they're all like. Where are they going to put it? I don't know. A yard. Attics? Out Attics in, full of all your other stuff. Though. Out in like, like the Shetland fields. They're just gonna leave it out in the bogs. <laughs> Can you imagine that turns into the next like peat bog man that they dig up in a thousand years? It's a 12 and they're, foot like, man. they're like giants were real. <laughs> <laughs> My next eBay sale was this pair of Brooks Brothers T-Strap Mary Jane Leather Made in Italy Pointed Pumps sold for twenty eight seventy, a very specific price. But I do usually send offers of 18% off. No idea why. It's kind of like why I, why do I promote for 6%? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Why do I send out 18% off? Who oh, no. knows? <laughs> it's a nicer looking number, apparently. Yeah, it's a fun number. Then I sold this Lauren Moshi Crystal Encrusted Destiny Kiss Love sweatshirt that I just got at a Goodwill on Tuesday. I listed this on, I cross posted it to eBay and it sold within like an hour. So Lauren Moshi and eBay might be a thing. Sold for 50 and the buyer did pay shipping. Moving on to Poshmark. The week of the 6th, through the 12th, on a 6th, I had three. Before Jack gets into his Poshmark, I'll share with you my Depop oh. that is getting overshadowed. Don't ever forget her. It was this really adorable Y2K pink crochet fold-over drawstring backpack that sold for $28. Yes, it was worth making a big of a stink before anybody asks. <laughs> that was fun. Anyways, again, on the sixth, I had three. <laughs> I had three too. My first sale was this Athleta pair of 2022 Sea Soft Straight Lounge Pants. These sold for 46 and I get 36.80. Those were like some of the nicest Athletas I found in a hot minute. Then Giovanna popped into my closet and she made a purchase and she said that she's a viewer. So hello, Giovanna. She got the Urban Outfitters BDG Athletics Distressed Sweatshirt. It was yep. really, really cute. I don't pick up much BDG, but this was a really cute one. If I would have found this. Sold this for stayed. 20, I get 16 and Ryan keeps everything. So thank you so much, Giovanna. Not like you just got a new sweatshirt. Hey, I need, what if I wanted a black one? And then Amy popped into my closet as well. And Amy was like, list that All Saints hat or I'm gonna attack. No, I'm just kidding. She's gonna send a cease and desist. <laughs> She's gonna send a lawyer. But she it. asked me to list it, so I did, of course. And then she made a bundle of that with the Spooky Town Skeleton Mariachi Band. Little figure, <laughs> little figure group. I love them. I think they're so cute. <laughs> and she got this bundle for 40 and I get 2902. So thank you so much, Amy. I love that bundle. That's a good one. I do love that. Very good aesthetic there. Okay, my first on the sixth went to a wonderful human being, the lovely Miss Whitney. Thank you, Whitney. I also really loved the sweater. It was this adorable torrid red chunky raglan pullover sweater, but it had this really nice, like really minute metallic detail to it. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting over these like sweaters that have like the really chunky, thick, like painted metallic on them. It kind of gives me the ick. This one was done quite well. I loved it. She got it for 35 bucks and I make 28. Thank you again, Whitney. Another sweater on the sixth, a Free People maroon peach color block Easy Street tunic. I found this one at a consignment store and I got it for $10 because it had a little pinhole in it. And I said, 
Thank you. They always sell. Every single time. This one sold for $32. I make $22.62. After the shipping discount, I double my money and I'm laughing all the way to the bank. And my last on the six, these are always like, I think these are like the cockroaches of the reselling world. <laughs> like there will never be a day where a Lululemon Swiftly doesn't just like really? fly out. I don't, is this... Is this my personal experience? Am I, I projecting? Mean, I never have them, so. Everybody wears them. The, the girlies in the elementary schools, constantly, it's the only thing they wear. This one was purple, and it was a short sleeve swiftly, sold for $28, I will make $19.48. On the seventh, I had seven, which seems like some kind of like luck. I civilization. Have four. So my first sale was this Coach Vintage Patricia Flap Leather Bag. Like I said, I am trying to get rid of these vintage coach bags. There's so many of them that I've just had way too long and I'm just sick of looking at them. So again, if you'd like to go snatch one for a the good deal. The rule applies go ahead. to me as well. Go ahead. Uh, this sold for 40 and I get 32. Back in the day, I would have been like, I want 150. And I'm like, mm, get it out. That was then. Then I sold this Smartwool <laughs> Rare Cable Knit Hooded Chunky Cardigan Sweater. Sold for 35 I get 28 That was like a vintage Smartwool. And it didn't even have a knitwit on it. And I was like, oh. not knitwit. Can you imagine that? I really want to the meet the Smartwool employee that like invented knitwit that has it. And the, like, you know, it's tattoo. a little wrist tattoo. Yeah. Then I sold this Free People and <laughs> Levi's Studded Multicolor Denim Jacket. This was from my own personal collection. I wore it a couple times back when we lived in our apartment. So I've had it for quite a long time. And this sold for 60 and I get 45.98 so happy to finally see that go. Then I sold this Ever Eve Ivy Henley knit ribbed pullover sweater for 24 and I get 17.18. Ever Eve has been doing like pretty good for me. So I am like I haven't been sourcing enough recently to be able to find one yeah. but I'm keeping the ears to the grindstone for yeah. the things that are the Ever Eve. I think especially like more substantial. I don't know if I would like pay much for like an Ever Eve t-shirt or an Ever Eve like like kind of plain blouse but yeah. like Ever Eve sweaters. It's got like a little jacket. pizzazz to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this Vitaliano Pencaldi print silk tie. This is a bolo so if your bolo notebook is like somewhere in your radius pick it up and write this down yeah take this with a grain of salt this one did sell for only 20 and i get 16. oftentimes i've gotten like 50 to even like 90 for vitaliano pancaldi ties they're like they're always like as colorful as this that's kind of like his thing is like really vibrant oranges mm -hmm. and purples and reds and yeah they do super well then i sold another personal collection item this pruenza schooler graphic sleeveless tank top sold for 35 I get 28. Again, I've had this forever. I'm like, get out. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this Gap Tall Double Face Wool Car Coat for 30. And I get 21.98. I think that was like a 2022 piece. And it was tall. Nice. So that was why I want to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's it for my seventh. My first on the seventh was a really adorable vintage piece. It was this vintage 70s made in Japan kimono. This one sold for $40, like a robe, not like an actual, like traditional kimono. Sold for 40 bucks. I make 32 and they left me a really nice little note. Thank you for watching our channel. It says, I just discovered your YouTube channel, how to check out your shop. I'm not disappointed. Beautiful kimono. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. <laughs> and then my next on the seventh, don't, don't do this. Don't get all upset. Don't get mad at me. It was a Cezanne Cassie reversible mohair lace up sweater. Sold for $45. I make 3302. I would have loved to get more for this. I've had it forever. It was a bins fine. It weighed nothing. Homegirl got a deal. I make my little 3302 and we are we're gonna call that one scot free. I yeah. can say that I found it before. We're both just not gonna talk about this again. We're just no. gonna move on. We're that's okay. Gonna, we're sometimes gonna move on in like life. things just don't sell for what you think they do sometimes, and that's just how the way the world sometimes works. Sometimes things just like don't work they, out how you expected them to, but like that's okay. That's exactly it. <laughs> my next one the seventh was a lovely little bundle. <laughs> Levi's 501 blue denim Raham cut off short. American Apparel Black White Matching Tracksuit, JW Anderson and Uniqlo Navy Blue Reversible Shearling Pants. Bundle sold for $30. These were three of the oldest listings I have in my closet. <laughs> so when somebody added them all to a bundle. You're like free. <laughs> bye. TTYL. Sold for 24, <laughs> 30, I get 24. Mm. And then my last one, the seventh, was, I don't really know why I bought this. It was this Shalom Lag and Look slub cotton like romper thing that you wear to the beach and it had these like puka shells on it. I don't know. I, sometimes I go to these stores and I think they just black out. I really have no idea. It sold for $17. I make $13.60. Then on the eighth, I had two. I had two as well. My first sale was this Lug Orange Vibrant Quilted Nylon Puddle Jumper Bag. Lug, definitely not as much of a bolo as it used to be. I would... Mm -hmm. I would consider moving lug to no low. Almost. I would. It, it has I kind of went lug. the way of Kipling of like. I think some of the bigger ones, like the travel pieces, I really like. And I think just some of the newer ones. I've had this for like a year and it has no likes. 
So, I don't know about that one. Maybe and the, it's in great shape. Maybe the color. Orange is kind of... It says you. Orange well, is like, kind of... like, loves orange. I love... No. I love color. But I like green and yellow and blue and pink and red. Orange is, like, on the bottom of that list. The Do I own anything orange? This sold for 40 which I don't remember if I said, because Ryan just rambled about colors and listed almost all of them. And I get twenty nine ninety eight. Then, I sold this Patagonia Quarter Zip Better Sweater. And this sold for 45 I get 36 This was from the last time that me and you went to Turnstiles. And I, for some reason, found two of them for, like, $11. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's good. My first on the 8th was a wonderful little bundle, and this bundle spoke to my soul, me and this girl. Obviously, like, I can't wear any of these things because I'm a six foot two tall man. She's gonna look phenomenal in these. Y2K dead stock pink energy ribbed top. Thank you for that. Boston proper Y2K vibrant floral patchwork skirt. Vintage handmade green square crochet dress sold for $60, and I make 48 so good. Mm -hmm. So good. That skirt and that top together, little brown clog, little mini bag, good one. My next one on the 8th was a Versace cotton Greca white Medusa bralette underwear set. I have one in black. If you would like to send me an offer on the black one, you might have it. This one sold for $61 and I make $48.80. Really? Yes. On the 9th, I had three. I had two. My first sale was from the Thread Up box. The Thread Up, thread up box of Doom. A really bad one with all of the space dyed loft skirts. That was a tough one. Mm -hmm. But I got this skirt. It was a Madewell Tiger Print Silk Midi Slip Skirt. And it sold for $20. And I get 16 So we're Yay. working our way back on that flop box. Ooh. But this was a good sale. I sold these John Fluvog Half Truths. <laughs> Tanya Mary Jane Get and Heal Pumps. I don't know what that title was, but that's John Fluvog's title for it. Also, if you haven't, like, looked at John Fluvog shoes in a while, go look at their website. Because, like, Fluvog. it was so different than I, like, liked last time checked in like they have some funky shoes and i know they always have but like I we're talking Fluvog. funky funky Ooh, not in a bad Fluvog. way i love They're them so but fun these sold for 135 i get 105 02 i had these listed for like 12 seconds i think i'd already gotten like two offers so yep. the flu people Fluvog. though if they do, look in they are looking if we do an updated like favorite brands to sell ever probably would enter that then i sold these choco leather strappy wayfarer classic sandals <laughs> these sold for 30 and i get 24 some of these people that name stuff i question i don't know what reality <laughs> they live in but it's clearly not ours yeah. my first on the ninth was something out of my own personal collection and this is where being six foot two comes in to bite me in the butt things don't fit in the torso which is fine it's just irritating when i feel like i buy things and i do the measurements and I feel like it's gonna fit and then I get it and it's like Mwah. so that's what this was OAS khaki terry cloth collared khaki this is absolutely not khaki this is green <laughs> I have no idea. The colors. Sometimes, again, sometimes I list some of this stuff and it's just like horse blinders go on. This and Saturday. Just black out. This Saturday, I think we're learning our colors. We are. OAS is a really good brand of like menswear in particular. They do a lot of like resort stuff. It's kind of like if you've ever heard of Tombolo, they do the really quirky kind of terry cloth, like beachy cabana kind of stuff. It's like that, but a little bit more pared down. And they sell really well. At the Copa. Go by go, man. This one sold for $40 and I will make 32 My next on the 9th, I'm kind of happy this sold and I'm really not surprised it didn't sell for that much. Zara blush pink silver rhinestone button down blazer. This was new tags, I would like to remind everybody. I found this in the bins. And I think Zara's just like, ugh. Yeah. Zara's always been eh. I know, but I feel like there was a time where like any, some of the Zara pieces would sell for an exorbitant amount of money. And I think that day and age has... As I've said like a million times. We put the kibosh on that one. As I've said like a million times, even when you think you have like the world's cutest Zara and there's a thousand bloggers that have worn it, like you're still going to only get $14. Here's, <laughs> here's my little, here's my little that's the tea honeybee moment. Take your Zara to Style Encores. Their system price is crazy high. Hmm. And a lot of the time, like if you find it in the bins, it's so cheap it weighs nothing. Yeah. At least, yeah, like, every consignment store takes yes. newer Zara. So I have a few of these pieces that I'm going to take down and take to them and make yeah. more than the 2202 that I made from selling this for $29. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> On the 10th, I had three. My first Ooh, no. sale was a good one. And this was a freaking Stephanie find that she just handed me because she's like, I don't like to sell sweaters. And I was like... <coughs> Stephanie. 
Okay. <laughs> Anthropology Mave Rare Lobster Graphic Button Cardigan Sweater. I will say I listed this for $250 mm -hmm. because that's where comps were at. Amazing, rare, fantastic sweater. This sold for 190 and I get 152 So thank you so much, Stephanie. You're an oh icon, Lord. a legend, and she is the moment. She Miss is the Stephanie. moment. Mm -hmm. Then... Dawn, Dawn popped into my closet and Dawn purchased this vintage wool purple textured structured blazer. She said, I love purple, but I live in Florida, so I don't know why I'm buying this. And I said, because blazers are fantastic. That's very true. Also, Debbie loves purple too. So. Mm -hmm. And those Florida nights can get a little chilly. <laughs> yeah. Sold for 20 and I get 16 so thank you so much, Dawn. Then I sold this Coach Silver Metallic Leather Long Zip Clutch for 35 and I get 28 Love a good coach clutch moment. My one and only on the tent was this pair of anthropology little bow flats. These sold for 20 bucks. Minus a shipping discount, I get 1302. On the 11th, I had three again. Do. My first one was this pair of Madewell Cali Demi Boot Rahem jeans. Just found these on Tuesday as well. Already got them listed and they sold like again within like 15 minutes these sold for 37 and i get 29.60 and i did do ryan's trick and they were a size 33 but i listed them as a 14. yep so exactly yeah then i sold this ysl vintage logo gold buckle leather belt for 30 and i get 24 but it's just one of those vintage designer luxury belts that are like just a strip of leather a belt. and the little logos like etched in i feel like every brand made them and honestly if you do pay attention to belts in the bins like you can these find aren't a couple of like good ones. so rare i found gucci mm -hmm. i think twice ysl maybe twice too but yeah they go for like mm, 30 to like 55 if you're buying the designer belt you want the big buckle yeah like logo yeah you know then I sold these Rag & Bone R&B 1042 prescription cat eye sunglasses and these sold for 25 and I get 20. Note to everyone and anyone listening who posts anything to eBay. If you find prescription sunglasses, do not put the word prescription in the title <laughs> oh, yeah. or the description. You I got attacked by eBay. Cause I list, I cross posted like all of my sunglasses at once and they're like, you have a million illegal listings. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> so I had to huh? like work around. People were asking me, cause I posted this to Instagram too. People were like, so what did you say for it? And what I did was like, in the title did personalized. And then in the description, in the description, mm -hmm. I said like, note, these sunglasses are just for frames due to doctor's personalization. Cause I'm like, I feel like that hints at it enough that you know what I'm saying. Okay, but like eBay, we're not El Chapo. Like we are trying to sell sunglasses. This is not some like smuggling ring. I, yeah. I mean, I get it. Cause yeah, you can't sell anything that's like a prescription, but also like sunglasses and glasses, like it's called a prescription lens. I feel like if you put like prescription eyewear, prescription glasses, that should think like- They could maybe put a filter where like for the glasses and sunglasses, like categories that doesn't get flagged. Whereas like for other categories, maybe flag it. But like, I don't know. It was just like, I was like, oh my gosh, please don't shut my ear. Please, please. please. I'm finally getting on a good page with you. Please, 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 please. Okay, my first on the 11th was this pair of Doc Martens. 1B60, do not ask me what that means. I have not the foggiest. Faux leather tall boots. These I got at Unique for $4 because one of the tongues had some dog chew on it. I was very open about that. I said dog chew at right tongue and somebody still bought them. 38 bucks, I make 30, 40, which is still a good little pickup. This was a pair of my old shoes, Hoka One One Bandi 7, all black athletic sneakers. These had seen some better days. These had seen a couple art festivals. These had seen When some... you went to the gym for like five minutes. Yeah, mm, that didn't last very long. <laughs> $28, I make 19.42. I got these at a garage sale for like a dollar, so. Mm -hmm. Perfect deal. And then that was it for my life. On the last day of What's on Saturday the 12th, I had two. I had four. <laughs> My first sale was from my own personal collection. It was these Lululemon street lights printed athletic shorts. I did find these at the bins and I did like the print, mm -hmm. but there was like a lot of snagging to them and also a little too long for me. Plus I just have so many pairs of shorts that I was like, I can't. So yeah, I, I feel that. Sold for 19, I get 15, 20. And then my last sale of the week was a pretty good one. And it was a Beholden Bagley Mishka Lavender Trench Coat, which was really interesting. This it was adorable. so pretty. This would be like so good for like an Easter outing. Your kids are like mm -hmm. Easter egg hunting in this field and you're just like standing there like 
on a business call with your like <laughs> ignoring the trench. kids on the call. Yeah, I love that. And, like, mommy, I'm hungry for lunch, and you're like, like okay, time. well, shush. Just some chocolate in the Easter egg hunger weekend. Yeah, I think that one has a jelly bean in it. Bye. This sold for 150, and I get 120, which is great. I had it listed for 250 for Bagley Mishka. It's kind of shooting a little high for that, but also for Beholden, that wasn't shooting too high. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I don't know where to land. But 150 is a okay with me. Very good sale. My first on the 12th was a pair of Levi's, a 501 classic denim high-waisted pair of jeans. Sold for 24, I make 16.22. Levi's, I think, are kind of like- On the wayside. We're moving into that like 25 to 30 kind of a situation. So I'm probably, I paid 10 bucks for these. Not gonna be doing that again. I make 16.22. I made a little bit of money, I didn't lose anything. I think it's like a solely- Oversaturation situation. Bingo. Like there's like Levi's have not got worse quality. Mm, there's like there's nothing like there's just million. a trillion pair. My next on the twelfth was this Pendleton seventies red buffalo check long row, but this one sold for fifty one dollars, and I make forty eighty. Wonderful turnstile find. My next on the twelfth was a Lulu Lame Flow Y I V blue tie dye sports bra. This one sold for ten bucks. I make seven oh five, but she had some wear. Like it, you know, I found this in the bins. Get it out of my house. Move on. 10 bucks, not that big of a deal. My yeah. last on the 12th was a pair of Torrid black faux leather high-waisted leggings. These sold for $14. I would have liked to get a little bit more for these. They've just been hanging around for a little bit too long and somebody gets a nice cute new little pair of leggings for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I make 11 dollars mm -hmm. and they were bins fine. So, easy peasy. My gross for this week, and this is only Poshmark, was 1,126. Mine was 602. And my nail. Madonna's gonna send us a cease and desist. Was nine hundred dollars and eighty cents. Mine was four eighty one sixty. Nice. Which is great. Yeah, so a lot of sales I feel like quantity wise, mm -hmm. but like a pretty average like number. Yeah. Like bread and butter stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's all that we have for you guys this week. Coming up on Tuesday is the family bin smash I'm so excited for. And then Thursday, I'm not a hundred percent certain on yet maybe like oh probably a bins haul mm -hmm. <laughs> let's be honest probably a bins is haul. debbie gonna be in that bins haul no i think that may be coming a little later because okay unfortunately with debbie like i'm gonna have to work with her schedule mm -hmm. to get her haul figured out she has agreed to do one with me she's so excited but like we might have to film that next weekend which obviously would mean that it can't go up this thursday so that might be like a next thursday thing yeah, yeah. hope you guys are excited for the bins bash i can't wait to watch it and we oh. will see you guys when we see ya Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.